Hey, I uh, got interrupted, so I'm starting from scratch. This is the second game. Uh, first one was a TBT in which you did a really good uh, M and M and dropship play, where you dropped a bunch of crap on their monkeys. So this is you trying to do the same thing. Now you made the same mistake as before, where you went supply racks, supply gas. Now you might think that getting this extra supply up super fast is important against the possibility of a six pool in Zerg, but a six pool will arrive at your base at three minutes and twenty seconds, and this is way too early to be to be walling in. So you wouldn't even need the supply until now. So you could have easily delayed that supply and gotten the orbital. And getting the orbital early is super important economically. Very, very important because every every seventeen seconds you delay the orbital costs you twenty bucks. So if you delay it for a long time like you've been doing, you're costing yourselves hundreds of dollars. Um, what am I doing? Why is it on 8x speed? Stop that. Um, this third supply is a little bit early too, but not too early. I guess I'm not going to criticize when you place supplies because it's totally fine. Uh, my main criticism right here is just, what the heck, man, what the heck. Who delays their orbital this long? It's just totally inappropriate. Uh, another criticism I have is that um, Tech Lab, I, I suppose if you want stim really early, that's great to get an early Tech Lab for stim. But my another criticism is the second Tech Lab, I don't like that at all. Um, the thing is, against Zerg, Marines are very good against everything Zerg has. Marines are great against Roaches, they're great against uh, Lings, they're great against Banelings, they're great against Mutas, they're great against Hydras, they're great against Ultralisks, they're great against every single unit. Zerg has, and Marauders are great against Roaches and bad against everything else. They're not just a little bit bad, they're very bad against everything but Roaches and Ultras. Um, so even though you saw that the Zerg has one Roach, you built this tech lab before you saw that, and uh, you're better off even against Roaches with a ton of Marines and four or five Marauders than you are with a ton of Marauders and a, bun and a small number of Marines. Because Marines DPS uh, is like 21, whereas uh, DPS per dollar is like 21, whereas Marauders are like um, 8, I think, maybe 16 against Roaches, so, and their health is almost, it's very similar health per dollar, because a Marauder is, is worth two and, a, two and a quarter, two and a half Marines, so he's got 125 health, well, two and a half Marines would have uh, 112 health, so almost the same amount of health. So even though they do have this one armor, armor is almost irrelevant against roaches. I don't know. Point is, you want more marines against Zerg than than marauders. You can, you can get a couple marauders, especially if you know he's making ro uh, roaches, because you need concussive shells. But don't get a ton of them. Get mostly marines with a couple marauders. Now, um, you'll notice last last game, I stopped and looked at your army benchmarks and said you did a good job army benchmark wise, right? Um, and army benchmarks are for spending. You want to go at six minutes and say, have I spent a thousand dollars on my army? Now you haven't spent anywhere near a thousand dollars, you spent four hundred dollars. And that's not even including a bunker. So you also spent two hundred bucks on stims, so really this is about six hundred and twenty five dollars, so you're short about four hundred dollars. But the most important thing is look at your SCV count. Seventeen! Alright, if I were you and I and I watched a replay of mine back and saw, oops, I only had seventeen workers at six minutes, you need twenty four. I will forgive you if you have twenty three. But if you have less than 23 workers at 6 minutes, throw the replay in the trash. Don't watch it, don't send it to people, don't worry about it. Because you had less than 30% of the economy you should have had at this point. Look at this, your income is 380. That's that's terrible, that's almost no income. So uh, this whole replay is now completely invalid. Just thought you should know. So let's fast forward and see how this affects the rest of your game. Okay, we're watching this command center and you're doing good at keeping up on SCVs. Oh, you missed some there, you're keeping up on SCVs, you missed some there, you're keeping up on SCVs, you missed some there. This is not how you want to be producing SCVs. You want two or three queued up all the time. You don't want to just, just barely be making one every now and again. So at eight minutes you wanted to have 30 SCVs and 30 is max saturation on one base. So you wanted to have um, uh, like a 900 income at, at 30. 900 to 240, and instead you have 720 in 240 and only 23 SCVs. Now you should have had 23 SCVs at 6 minutes, so your income is very, very short of what you want it to be at this point. Um, and then going on to 10 minutes. By 10 minutes, I mean, you should have stopped producing SCVs 2 minutes ago, and your army at 10 minutes. Last time you had 4... 
you had four medevacs at ten minutes and a bunch of marine marauder and uh, you didn't even get stim last time but but last time your army at ten minutes was three thousand three hundred and this time it's only twenty one hundred you're you're you got thirty percent small more than thirty percent smaller army this time than last time so this just goes to show you made one mistake early on and it just compounded itself so at this point your army is so small compared to what it was in the in the other game that you played uh, where you just didn't make the same SCV mistake, that it's just hardly even worth considering this game. Now, you might win this game. It's 33 minutes long, but it's irrelevant. Like, if your army is only 2,000 at 10 minutes and you're going for a large army push, that's just terrible. Um, and income, you haven't even maxed your income yet. It's crazy. Like, you're just now hitting 30 workers and it's 12 minutes in. That's crazy. So I like this uh, elevator play of sending a small group at the top and a small group at the bottom and forcing him to pick which ones he wants to attack so that these guys can fight whenever these you know whenever these guys are defending and stuff it wasn't done perfectly I would have had these guys up here instead of down there it's kinda silly but you saw how how heftily you lost that battle that wasn't because um, that was all just because your army is so tiny like look at the amount of money he spent on army and the amount of money you spent on army like you did a good attack. You took Marine Marauder Medevac, which is a good composition against Zerg, and you put it on a on an elevator position where you had some on top and some on bottom, and that's a good position. Like you did lots of good things. What you did was a good attack, but you just didn't have any units. Like it doesn't matter how good your plan is if you don't have an economy or any units. Look at the amount of money spent on economy. You've spent thirty five hundred to his five thousand four hundred. He's you know, so uh, the longer this game goes, the less significant that early mistake is, but I think you would have won this game already if you hadn't made that early mistake, so... Yeah, it's it's really important, and you don't want to forget about it. So, uh... He's coming to scout with an overseer. So at this point... Your opponent has made the, the mistake... Um, I think he might have... Yeah, he lost nine workers in that last battle. So at this point, you actually have a bigger income than him. So despite your early disadvantage, he didn't exploit it. When when Zerg wins a big fight like that, as dominates that kind of fight, what he wants to do is to immediately take this third. He should have had this third up days ago, and then produce a ton of a ton of workers because. He knows that he just crushed your army and he still has a bunch of roaches and banelings left over. So he doesn't need to make any more military units. He doesn't need to worry about your next attack. Uh, so he should just be making a ton of drones. So your opponent only has 36 drones at this point. He's a moron. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't get used to playing against morons because once you, you're you awesome, you're not going to get the opportunity to play against as many morons anymore. Um... Squish, 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 squish. I think that went quite well for you. He's lost twice as much as you have. Uh, I kind of don't get hiding this base over here. A good Zerg player knows that a Zergling only costs him 25 bucks, so he's going to...